At the end of this video, you'll know how to use speech to text to create awesome subtitles just like this in Filmora 11. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Caleb from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Did you know that adding subtitles to your videos can increase your engagement by 80%? On top of that, subtitles are a great way to reach new demographics and to make it easier to follow along. Plus, with Filmora 11, adding subtitles to your videos couldn't be easier with the new speech-to-text feature. Just one click away. If you haven't already, you can download Filmora 11 at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. Speech-to-text is a nifty new feature in Filmora 11 that lets you generate subtitles in your videos. Using speech-to-text couldn't be easier. Once you've got your video edited and ready to go, select your dialogue tracks and right-click. Then click speech-to-text. Now, all you have to do is select your language and click OK. Filmora will take care of the rest automatically. Once it's finished, you'll find the new title clip has been generated in your timeline. Double-click this title clip to open the subtitle settings. This window shows you the subtitles and their timing on a traditional editing timeline. This window has the same information, but it's listed in order instead. And this window shows you a preview of how the subtitles will look in your video. Filmora is over 95% correct. But just to make sure, the first thing you should do is take a look at the auto-generated script and fix any spelling, grammar, or language issues. Next, you may want to adjust the timing of each subtitle to be more in sync with your video. You can do this in either the list window by dragging or changing these values, or the timeline window by just dragging the subtitles. Make sure your subtitles don't jump ahead too much or fall behind what's being said in the audio. If you want to add or remove subtitles, use these buttons. You can also search for specific words or phrases. Once you're happy with the content and timing of your subtitles, we can move on to the design. All right, now for the fun part, the subtitle design. When it comes to design, a lot of elements are subjective. However, there are some guidelines to keep in mind. In the Filmora window, click View, then Show Safe Zones. These boxes are called the Title Safe. It's best to keep all your titles within the inner box and never let your titles go outside the outer box. Double click your subtitle clip again to go into the subtitle editor. You can move your subtitle around by clicking and dragging it in the preview window. Now we're gonna design the actual subtitles. Click Preset to see some pre-made designs. Double click any of these to apply them to your subtitles. It's best to pick a color that stands out from the rest of the video. Most subtitles in film and TV are either white or yellow. If you want to try your hand at making your own design, you can use the settings up here to make changes to the font of your subtitles. Click the Custom tab to open up the advanced settings. Here, you can do things like add a short fade to your subtitles, fine-tune the color, adjust the outline, create a shadow, and more. Any changes you make are propagated to the entire subtitles file, so there's no need to go throughout them individually. The rest is up to your imagination. Get creative. And now you know how to use the subtitle feature in Filmora 11 and make your videos more engaging. If you use this tutorial to make subtitles in your next video, please leave a link in the comments so we can see it. And make sure you like the video and subscribe to the Wondershare Filmora channel for more editing tips. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time.